In this video, we're gonna try and answer a question that absolutely nobody's been asking, which is can artificial intelligence choreograph you a figure skating routine complete with music choice and a fabulous costume design? So for this video, we're going to be using ChatGPT and DALI2. Um, to get the job done, let's see how it goes. Now, choreographing um, a program and designing the costumes can uh, vary wildly in price. At the lowest level, maybe 300 pounds or so can get you a nice uh, program choreographed, whereas when you get to the highest level, you can go 20,000 pounds plus for everything, okay? And that's not that's just for the choreography, not even including the designs of the costumes and things like this. So it can be incredibly expensive stuff. However, with AI, it's gonna be free right now to try, so let's see. Okay, so here we are in the chat GPT um, window. Let's see. Choreograph me a figure skating program that is four minutes in length. Uh, please include a title and music choice. Title, Eternal Elegance. Uh, music, Moonlight Sonata. Orchestral arrangement to uh, specify. Okay, so the choreography. The first 15 seconds. The skater stands in the center of the ice, poised and graceful, embodying the essence of eternal elegance. Uh, the music being softly as the skater begins to move, showcasing delicate flowing arm movements. We can go one step further. We've gone over to Dali, the image generator, and here we are. And uh, basically, this is our start pose. It's, it's showing us standing in the center of the ice, poised and graceful, embodying the essence of eternal elegance would look like. So I'm not sure it's quite as the description had. Um, are there some other choices? Well, th there's this. I'm not sure it's kind of got it. Maybe if I get it to do a drawing. Uh, we'll see if we get something that's good now. Yes, here we go. I like this. This is this is it. This is what ChatGPT is telling me about. Okay, so we have our start pose to the program. Okay, so moving on. The music begins softly and the skater slowly begins to move, showcasing delicate and flowing arm movements, setting the tone of the, the program. Let's just see. I'm going to go with the image search on this next piece. Okay. Well, it's kind of got ice skate of a sum, but it's got a it slipped a roller skater in there as well. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. So I like this shape. I wonder I wonder if I can hit some variations of this movement, okay? Okay. Well, here we have um yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I like this one. I'm not sure how to nail that one on the ice though but we have a few others here. I think we can get something. So we have the original. So we could start off moving into this shape, maybe go into this shape, and then somehow develop an additional leg to carry on with this shape. Okay, so the next part of it, um, after we got our introduction done, we start the program with some intricate footwork, demonstrating precise control, each movement synchronized with um, gentle, synchronized with gentle rise and fall of the music, invoking a sense of tranquility and grace. Okay, as the music intensifies, God, we're already 45 seconds in and not a whole lot's happened. As the music intensifies, the skater transitions into a series of expressive spins, displaying flexibility and poise. Okay, so um, the spins are accompanied by intricate arm movements reflecting the emotional depth of the music. There we go, look at this. I mean, it isn't completed completely. That's not a bad shape, I like that one. Very good, how about this? Yeah, nice layback, very good. What have we got here? It to be a camel sort of catch position. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sketch of, let's try a different one. How about instead of a sketch, let's see if I can get better with the photograph. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of photographs of it to steal ideas from on the internet. Oh, okay. So remember, expressive spins displaying elegance and poise. Yes, yes, I think we have it here. We'll have this spin, that's very good. Not sure how to redo that one. It looks like it's going for a Y spin, but very expressive, I like that. This is an interesting camel spin variation. And we have this delightful spin. Okay, so we've got our spins. We have our opening pose now. We've got our, our nice spins. Let's see where else this program is gonna gonna take us. We're gonna next. It's staying with gliding across the ice, performing a series a series of elegant and flowing jumps. Not much details on which jumps. But each jump is executed with impeccable 
technique. Yeah, showcasing the skater's strength and athleticism, music builds in intensity, matching the skater's dynamic performance. It's very, it's very captivatingly written, I will say. In this, so in the next segment though, the skater engages in a mesmerizing duet with an on ice partner. Suddenly, the choreography combines synchronized movements, lifts, intricate footwork, capturing the essence of a timeless love story. Look at that, the music rises and falls conveying the emotional journey of the skaters, to which the skater takes center stage once again, performing a captivating and emotional solo. So it was very short-lived with the partner, 45 seconds with the partner, and then we were done, back to the solo stuff. Great for me. Let's see what it would suggest for our big duet moment in the program. Ah, yes, figure skating lifts. Hmm, interesting. I think I need to specify, draw me, um, Let's, let's try and make it clear. Draw me um, two. Ah, maybe I can do it like this. Draw me a, draw me two figure skaters with one lifting the other. Hmm. There's a lot to. There's a lot going on here. He seems to have uh, helped himself to his partner's leg and sort of blended it with his own head. Um, what else do we have? It's not really a lift, but Riata de Sage. Okay, cool. Oh, this is. It would seem that this gentleman has stuffed himself up his partner's skirt, so maybe the time and place for that. And this isn't a leg, this is just, looks like she's trying to, I don't, I'm not really sure, there's a lot to digest with this. So it hasn't really, hasn't really, you know, yeah, so one of these will be the big duet moment, we'll see. Uh, the music reaches peak carrying the skater and the audience to a powerful climax. Fantastic. I wouldn't have it any other way. 3 to 3.30, the skater's movements become more delicate and introspective, inviting the audience to reflect on the beauty of the performance. It's so eloquent the way it's described in this uh, magical program. Um, the skater concludes the program with a series of breathtaking spins and spirals, perfectly timed, uh, with the final notes of the music, the skater ends in a final elegant pose, symbolizing the everlasting beauty of figure skating and leaving the audience in awe. Wow, look at that. Let's find a final elegant pose of this performance. There we go. There we have it. This is our end pose right there. I think that does all of it. Perhaps this one. This is more appropriate. I wonder if we can get some variations on this. Let's see. Oh yes, here's a series of poses. We have this one. I'm not sure what's going on with the head here, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, do we have this kind of dramatic? That could be a nice dramatic pose. I feel like that one. We could, we'll have that as the dramatic ending pose. Okay, perfect. Right, okay, so it does specify that the choreography provides a general outline and can be customized and expanded upon by a professional figure skating choreographer to suit the skater's style, strengths, and preferences, so we can fully adapt this. Um, in full, you know, honestly, I asked it to choreograph me a figure skating program that is four minutes in length, and I just said, can I have a title and a music choice? And I gave it absolutely zero uh, information more than that, so it's done exactly what I've asked it to do, and to be honest, it hasn't done a terrible job at it, to be honest. You could take those ideas and run with it and, and ask it more questions and ask it to specify things and get it to do some pretty cool things. Um, so I think it could actually be pretty good um, way of assisting if you're short on ideas, let's say. Um, whether it's just going to go bang and give you the full program just like that yet, no, it's not going to. But I do think we're missing something. And what I would like to see from it is um, I need a costume to wear. I can't just go out there in the Ice Coach Online t-shirt. Uh, I need something else. So let's see a nice costume. So let's see. Okay, here we go. So I'm asking it to design a figure skating costume for a 34 year old male figure skater performing the program Eternal Elegance to the Music Moonlight Sonata. Let's see, let's go. Come on, what have we got? Oh, it's taking this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Interesting. Not too bad. Look at that. I get myself a delightful costume. This is very much Eternal Elegance. And look at that. This might be my favorite of all of them. If you can see me in this costume performing this program make sure you give this video a like right now okay so and what's this uh, okay okay not bad all right well i'm feeling this one i feel like if i had to pick one i'd definitely go for the high collar the white trousers and this 
kind of a stylish pattern up there. That is eternal elegance right there. Let's try some variations of this um, outfit and see what it comes up with. We'll push it a bit further, give me more choices. Okay, we'll try some variations of it. We're gonna try some variations because it's nice to have more than one design done for yourself. Let's see. Um, ah, yes, here we go. So we had our original, which was this uh, delightful piece. What else have I got to wear? Okay, so we've got this one. I think I still like the original more than this. Here we go, okay, okay. Maybe my uh, partner could wear such a costume, but it's giving it a good go. Oh, little, we got this delightful little number here. What's the final one? Well, very similar to the other one. Got a bit of the Beetlejuice trouser going on, very military-esque at the front. I think, to be honest, the eternal elegance is most prevalent in this one. Well, there you have it. The AI gave it a good go at choreographing a program. I didn't really give it much information. I could have been more specific and said, I need this many jumps, this many spins, this many the other, but I didn't spend too much time playing around with it. Uh, and it designed me a nice costume. And it came up with some interesting poses to include in the program. I think if you really played around with it and spent some time pushing it to the absolute limits, you could probably come up with a half decent uh, program and concept with it. So, you know, is it going to replace my job right now? Probably not, but in the future, will you just be able to type in, yo, I want a figure skating program, I want to win the world championship, blah, 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 bang, let's go. Probably, yeah, it'll come up with a pretty good idea. So, you know, at the moment, pretty impressive that it's managed to come up with that much already. Um, next thing to do is to try and take their ideas to the ice, get the program done and let's go. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's, the, uh, that's the end of the video.